This is my salad. You eat the salad with the fork and you put it in your mouth. We've got the powder coated valve covers on with all the hardware that's been blasted and repainted. We've got our 40 over injectors, our manifolds on with brand new gaskets, along with a new oil pan. We're going to throw that on there because this one has a leak. We don't want to have any leaks going on. We've got our injector pump installed as well. And this is a turned up 10%, so you're going to get a little bit more power out of it. And then we've got our fuel injection uh, pump right here. So we're not using a manual, we're using an electric one. This will run around 7 PSI. Here we go, let's put it together. Oh, that looks so good. There it goes with the sweet pea again. Oh. Uh, hi guys, glad you could show up. What are you doing? We're retorquing. We're tightening it up! Retorquing the bell housing on the transmission. We don't want it falling off down the road. Seal good. looks good too. Look at that. It's brand new. Nice rubber seal. Don't see any leaks. Yeah, I thought this transmission would be good when we, when we got it. It's in good shape. We didn't yeah. see any leaks on it. We got all new hardware. I got all the new shifter linkages too. Yeah. And then uh, obviously you don't need this anymore, but you can leave it for protection. Yeah. And I just sealed this tail housing on there. Okay. So that's all resealed, so we don't have to worry about that when we can for sure. Alright, now I'm gonna hook up the uh, fork converter. Cool. I can take that off in five seconds. Well, I've done half the work for you, so you're probably good. It's under really tight. How tight it is. How tight is it? It's tight. That's what, that's what I said. There we go. Woo! Yeah, got it. Ooh, that's an elaborate something fuel pump setup. Dude, look at that. Doesn't even look like it's had an oil change. Look at this on the old oil pan. You see that it burned it on the inside. You volunteered to bend it so you have a, a spare oil pan. No, throw that too. Motorsports, dude. Uh, all right, so what we've done here is we have acid etched this transmission so it'll look brand new and uh, put it back in there. There was a lot of grime on there. We put the torque converter back in, we put the bolts in, we torqued up the spec, and we've got our super scrubber here. Scrub Daddy, making this thing look great. So uh, we're waiting for the gasket to dry up for the oil pan. In the meantime, as I'm putting stuff up. I don't want what we got here. Uh, this is the new injector lines that we're just installing. Right on to our nice, already uh, pre bent to where we need them. And that I've seen none that pretty before. You got the oil feed. Yeah, this will sit right here on the uh, on the intake. Nice. That right there is an ejector pump. Yeah, got that all cleaned up like new. So what he does is he blows into it and tells us he's gonna... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. not rated for that pressure. Oh. <laughs> Me too. Look at how nice that tranny looks. Too bad you burned a hole in my freaking table with the acid. Acid burns metal. Is that why I was smoking? That's why I wasn't smoking yet. See the power position sensor and you just put these uh, return lines with the fuel in. Get the braided. Look at the blue touch on the bottom of the... Uh, oh, that's the best uh, thread tape ever. Yeah. It's looking good. <laughs> I'm taking off the rust on these screws and they're going to look nice and shiny by the time I'm done with them. Right now he's setting up his screws to sandblast. 
home, he gets all the rough edges and grime off from years of use. This guy over here is putting on the aluminum pulley. It's a new idea. The billet pulley right here, buddy. Agreements from 2002. And he bought, he got three jobs after school, and he bought his own car. Then I, I told This is him, the best. Parents reserve the right to sell car if son does not get good grades. He did get. Gets in a wreck. He did. Yeah. A tree got in the well, way. Well, I was trying to do a J turn and I hit a tree. Yeah, well, the tree got in the way. And if I cannot take proper care of the vehicle. And you did. The thing always. had more airtime than Michael Jordan. Yeah. There you go. Yep, and I didn't put it here if you get stuck in the mud, which it would have been right away. Just working on this uh, coolant crossover tube here. You notice we got you already seen the powder coat on it. Um, you got your old uh, thermostat here for the fan. See, it looks kind of rough. We put a new one in here. You got new uh, red tape on it. This monster blue stuff's pretty good. I'm liking that so far. And uh, we got our new uh, glow plug controller here set up with the yellow rings. You know it's the updated version. Uh, I got this piece here that I'm that I cleaned up. Looks like new. I'm just going to put a clear coat on it, which is what we did also with these bolts over here for the uh, plenum, plenum bolts. They look pretty good. You put a clear coat on them that way they don't rust shortly down the road like most would. So. Sealed this off already? Yep. We got our boost bolt. So this is for Leroy Diesel boost uh, bolt. Essentially, we can run our boost gauge off that. Boost, boost, boost. Five degrees at a time. Look at that slant. <laughs> Newer upgraded pump. We're going to have to make a new line that's going to run with this fitting on the end. We have to extend it about six inches and we're going to use a probably stainless line. It'll look better. That's it. Let's see the next piece after. Okay, so we are updating the turbo. Uh, we've taken apart the actual cold side housing and the hot side too. We're going to be replacing this and Jake will tell you more about it. Yeah, if you look at the new one here, you can see there's a lot more surface area. So you can get a lot more flow off of this one. It's going to make it more, uh, I would say, it's going to feel more peppy. Yeah, oh yeah. Much higher flow. See these, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but these, these blades are a lot wider as compared to these. And uh, it'll grab more air for, for what you're getting on the input from the, from the exhaust. I'm going to take this old one off here. I've already got it partially taken out, knocked through. And you got to be careful with these because these are left-handed threads. You know, make sure you're only using rubber or plastic. I like the plastic one. You get a better hit on it a little bit. But all you're going to do is hold it up against the back and tap on it. Make sure you catch, make sure you catch the uh, exhaust turbine too because you don't want to you don't want to get that dinged up. Make sure you have something to keep it from getting dinged on the table. All right, so if you notice, it's still stuck on there. It's still a little snug on there, even though this, the shaft is all the way in. So what you got to do is you got to get another bite on it. So I'm going to put this underneath the back just to keep that turbine off the, off the uh, table there. And then I've got a, a little piece of plastic here, but anything will work as long as it's uh, not going to harm this uh, aluminum on the wheel and everything. So you just put it behind it. Alright, that's it. 
at your old wheel. See the comparisons here. They're pretty much, pretty much the same. But if you look closely, you can see the difference in, in the, the veins uh, are longer. Exactly. The difference is here. You get, you get. It's going to grab more air. Essentially, it's going to yeah. push more air in that motor. There's the original wheel. Do the blades on that thing. Yeah. So what? What I found that you got to be careful with is this uh, exhaust shaft or the exhaust side of the shaft has a, a ring around the shaft kind of like a piston ring and you got to be real, real careful when putting that in so what you got to do is kind of set it up on the blocks where you got enough clearance for the shaft and what you're going to do is line up that ring on center Get it as centered as you can and drop it down onto the ring and just barely tap it and it should drop right in. If it doesn't, then you're going to have to find a way to compress that ring very carefully. See, so what Jonathan doesn't know is I fixed the turbo already. He thinks that it's still broken. So, uh, well, it wasn't broken, but I had to put it back together and it wasn't running together right because it had a snap ring on it that was stuck. It's good now. Don't tell me. These are for sale. Fifteen dollars a piece. See, I support other groups. You know, I've got Gas Monkey Garage here, TR3, uh, Baywatch. Baywatches. Baywatches. <laughs> I love the Baywatch. Oh my god. So, so, so psyched. I was just joking. It's not good. Oh, oh goddamn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, it works. This is the original wheel. You gonna hit it on the hot side? Yeah, cold side. Because this is where you get your, you got all your. Uh... Oh! 